Hey guys and welcome to Let It Die. Now currently in Let It Die, there are these events called the Yotsuyama Chargers. Now these chargers have a chance to drop their gear set. Now some of their gear is kind of crap in my opinion, but their weapons specifically seem to have a place, except for the, the bazooka. I don't really see the implication of that because you're rarely in a space <laughs> that is not confined and you'll kill yourself, so... Probably, maybe forget about that one. Um, also, the, the method of farming I'm going to be showing you guys in this video does not work with that one, so yeah. Anyways, if you are not familiar with these events, they are these fighters, I guess. Or in the game, they are called haters, except these haters are special, and again, they are decked out completely with this special gear set. Now, these haters can appear anywhere from uh, floor 11 all the way to 20, and then one of those chargers is sectioned to uh, 20 to 30. Now, again, like I said, there's this other hater that we're going to forget about. <laughs> He's got a bazooka. It seems redundant. Don't know why that... Is a, a usable weapon okay also really quick I would definitely suggest farming the um, weapons itself not necessarily the armor albeit if you do find it intriguing or interesting then absolutely go for it and grab it but to me the weapons are the powerhouse as well as the armor has from what I see not the best implications or what they cost in terms to make are a bit all over the place like it requires I think the um, the charger with the scythe chainsaw him he his chest piece is like weak to a bunch of like sharp weapons and all the like because your stomach's hanging out but anyways um, also it's it takes like green metal and then black metal at some point I think it's it's one of those so I wouldn't exactly suggest the armor although it looks awesome <laughs> and you could feel free to upgrade as you will but the weapons are where it's at um, so the scythe chainsaw is a bit wonky in terms of dealing with specific enemies, but when it comes to ripping down bosses, it's probably one of the best weapons in the entire game. I'm not sure if I can find a clip, but it's, it's heavy move is you spiraling in a circle, and if you're dealing with a boss, you can cut that boss down to size in no time. I've seen it done, it's pretty insane. <laughs> and of course, I made an entire video about going on about how much I love the fire baton, which is what that other person can drop. Anyways, the point of this video is how to farm these haters. So let's get into that. All right, first things first is you're gonna wanna make your way to the 12th floor. There's an elevator there so just take it all the way up it kind of looks like a train station subway um, area now in this location there is a special hater that can spawn in this location now that's your checkpoint now that's the only spot a hater can actually spawn on that level so it's rather easy to check that spot all the time especially if you go above where he is um, there's a little square that you can peek into and see who it is now the reason why that is so important and so good is because sometimes haters can be depending on your grade of fighter can be a little bit over over decked out and you kind of have no chance because they have awesome armor and maybe you've been farming for a bunch of times and have had to use up your weapons so you're kind of bare bones etc so there's a bunch of bad implications that you can end up in but at least this way you just peek in see if you can handle that see if the hater is the one you want to farm and of course the ones you're looking for are the chargers um, which is the scythe guy as well as the fire baton guy now um, I thought beforehand how to reset the level is to go down to the uh, to the bottom floor, like go use the elevator to reset it. No, you can just take an elevator all the way up to another floor and come back down. But again, I really want to stress that it's convenient for you to be um, going through the elevator that is right behind the peephole <laughs> to be able to see the charger. Uh, so again, it's really easy to farm that way because again, the, the reason why this is kind of a brutal farm is because there's so many RNG things going against you. There is the implication that um, you will not get the charger you want. Um, there's also the implication that somebody will send a hunter after you that is not playing around. They are going to be decked out and they're going to be wanting to kill you. But again, because we're not we're not in his sight line, um, he will not charge at us um, if we're careful. If you just kind of run around, he'll hear you up there, but you still have enough time to book it. <laughs> You're okay there. So this is like maximum safety. You can handle whatever you want. Now, also, another form of RNG is when you kill these said chargers, um, and they're pretty weak. I, I didn't really have any problem doing that, nor do I think you do if you have a decent weapon. Um, anyways, the other RNG thing is when you do actually kill a charger, they have a chance of dropping a chest. And they also don't drop the chest all the time. <laughs> so that's the RNG thing. They have a chance to drop this chest. Now that's one RNG. The second is when you open that chest, it has a chance to hold a blueprint that you already have unlocked. Uh, by the way, the chests unlock blueprints that allow you to create the armor and weapons. Um, now you can get really unlucky and keep farming and get keep getting hunters after hunters. All you need to do if you keep getting hunters is just reset the level by going up the elevator, coming back down to 412, and then checking if he's there again. 
Um, now, sometimes hunters can be there from two two floors. They stick on you for a little bit. You don't need to kill them, though. You can just force them out um, via just going up and down elevators. Not elevators. <laughs> escalators. Um, anyways, <laughs> that is how you farm the chargers. Go to the 12th floor and keep resetting it. Um, now, again, like I said, the reason why I like the 12th floor as well as the, this, the, the one special route where you're on top of the spawn of the charger... Um, is because you can see if that charger is a hunter that has a ranged weapon and maybe he'll get the better of you or maybe he has a weapon you're not comfortable fighting, etc. But I will say you should actually kill the chargers, even if um, it's not the one you have. Like for instance, I already grinded out the scythe guy. So every time I seen him, I would just reset the level because it's not the one I wanted. But you should actually try to kill them. Um, even if it's just with a shitty weapon, again, if you're... If you have a decent character and you max out his strength, you should be able to knock them down fairly easily. The reason why is because you actually get a fair amount of money. I think I did this for around three or four hours one night and made 100,000k. I think it's okay. It's not that I know it's not like lucky star levels of money, but chargers do drop, I think, almost 2,000 depending on your character you're using. If you're having a lucky star character, I can only imagine that's even more. Again, I think this is the best way to farm because you have safety, so you're not going to ever get like a dropped on you with like a, a powerful hunter that's going to absolutely wreck you. And also, it's a good farming route for money. Um, even if you're just killing chargers that you don't necessarily need, be sure to kill them just because even if you're encountering chargers that you've already grabbed their gear, you still should kill them just for the money, and it doesn't take that long to do so. Um, so yeah, guys, that is how you farm these special events in Let It Die. Um, there is a couple other ones that this, of course, is not a part of. Like, there's the Four Forcemen of the Apocalypse or something, that that's not at all. <laughs> that's this. Apparently, that's brutal as hell. <laughs> now, some tips <laughs> that I have for you, because I did this for quite a while. Because, again, you have so many RNGs going against you that it can kind of be a bit annoying. Um, I would highly, highly suggest, do not stack up on blueprints. That's something I did, and I thought it was like, oh, it's going to be great, because I'll go downstairs to my waiting room, unlock all these blueprints, and then I'll have all the stuff I want. No. Um, so, for instance, I got two blueprints, and I was like, cool, and they're going to be different pieces of, of the puzzle. No, they were both two chess pieces, so I was, like, really sad about it. So, like, be sure not to do that. Be sure every time you get a blueprint, blueprint, just go to the elevator, go all the way down to the waiting room, unlock it. Yeah, so don't double down on two blueprints because, again, you could go all the way down, waste a bunch of time realizing they're the same thing when you could have been up there just keeping the route in play. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, I explained that a little bit too much, but... I want to make sure you guys got the thing down pat. Now, again, I would highly suggest from a seasoned farmer who who played a lot of Borderlands, <laughs> um, definitely throw on like a podcast or some music or some shit because you'll go crazy. If because again, there's like five different RNGs, uh, going against you, which essentially RNGs just drop rates, the chance of it to drop. Anyways, <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely throw on a podcast or some shit. Uh, it's brutal. It, it was a bit brutal, especially it's brutal when you keep seeing the worst sides of humanity because uh, you, you keep seeing hunters that are uh, decked out in the worst kind of gear and you're on a level 12 floor. So it's like, uh, what the fuck? <laughs> like, you clearly sent that hunter to kill somebody because you want 12th floor. If you wanted a challenge, you go 30 floor up, you bastard. <laughs> you bastard. I fucking hate that part of the game. Anyways, guys, um, there's other guides I've made for Let It Die. Um, I'll probably link them on screen currently. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Thank you so much for supporting me here on YouTube and on Patreon. It means the world to me. Um, more of that die content coming, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Bye, guys.